So now in this video, I thought I would uh, show you something that um, I came up with. Just I might uh, be able to make use of this in an upcoming uh, video. So what we're measuring now is the capacitor. When it comes to this oscilloscope, we got uh, the alligator clips right here. They come out of the oscilloscope. I just clipped them to jumper and were taken our uh, voltage measurements and um, so that was the capacitor charging and discharging and removing this because um, this doesn't have a, a ton of resistance it's like a hundred it's like a million ohms of resistance and uh, that wedged into that spot um, it uh, really don't want to go in there and I don't want to damage the amount so yeah we're going up uh, six squares there because the uh, power supply voltage is six volts right there and I don't think we're gonna hit the uh, 20 milliamps of current uh, so I think we can keep that as our maximum current. So it'll lower voltage as needed to prevent the circuit from exceeding 20 milliamps. And I have this capacitor here to help study the voltage at the board. A uh, larger capacitor would probably work better. But in uh, any case, uh, let's get back to measuring the capacitor. So again, um, you know, it's like a million ohms of resistance going to the positive supply. Since uh, we're measuring the capacitor directly, thanks to that little jumper there, it's a stable mode. Um, you know, it uh, might make it so that the capacitor takes a tiny bit longer to charge at this moment uh, right here. So, we have, uh, for the timing, by the way, 10 microfarad capacitor and uh, uh, 100,000 ohm resistor. But we got a diode there for the uh, charging right there. So this resistor doesn't really factor into the uh, charging. When uh, we got the discharging, when the blue LED is lit, then... Uh, all the current from the capacitor goes through that 100,000 ohm resistor again and that uh, goes to ground. So we got like 100,000 ohms charging and uh, discharging right there so that uh, the output uh, basically goes high and low at almost exactly the same time, uh, especially if we don't have the uh, oscilloscope because it's like a million ohms of resistance there from the uh, positive and or to ground, I mean. So actually, yeah, it'll kind of hinder the uh, charge a little bit because it's going to ground. I think I mentioned that wrong uh, before. But uh, in any case, if you have a really good oscilloscope, it shouldn't affect uh, the voltage change at all. So we're measuring the capacitor. Now I have this uh, trim pot here. I'm gonna set it down. Um, the positive supply is to the uh, top pin uh, right there. So the wiper is the middle pin. I got that jumper. We have the other end, it's a resistive element. It's not connected to anything. So we just have the wiper sliding across the resistive element. So the more we turn it up over to orange there, uh, clockwise there, the more resistance we'll get. So with 10,000 ohm, we're gonna go to pin five. So the thing about pin five is um, the inside of the 555 timer between uh, pin one and uh, pin eight. Pin eight is the, the positive side there. Um, closer to pin one, we got three resistors wired as a voltage divider. So the point between uh, ground, pin one, and uh, the uh, first, uh, where the first two resistors connect, uh, we got uh, one third of the supply voltage right there because they're equal value. And then uh, going past the uh, next uh, resistor, so between that and the resistor to the positive supply, we got two thirds of the supply voltage. And then uh, six volts up there as we saw before. This uh, trim pot, when I plug it into pin five, Pin 5 is directly connected to where the two-thirds supply voltage uh, spot is. So it's no longer two-thirds of the supply voltage once I plug uh, that into it. So now we got a uh, little more resistance between the uh, higher side there and the positive supply. Um, but that's letting a little bit more current come there. So actually it's raising the voltage a little bit. And since they're uh, resistors, um, that means that ultimately it's gonna pull up the lower voltage as well, but only about half as much. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, so we can adjust, um, well, we are gonna adjust the duty cycle. It's not gonna be about 50% anymore. Let's go about halfway right there. I think that's uh, pretty good. So there you can see, we gotta charge up to a higher voltage. We also discharge to a slightly higher uh, voltage, but our, our bigger change was over there uh, towards the top. And then we got down there. And uh, we can, uh, this isn't really plugged in terribly well. And we can uh, turn this up. And I thought things kind of might have got screwed up while I was adjusting this. But yeah, I think I can uh, really kind of get to five volts and that's about it. At uh, some point it does kind of usually kick in um, where we'll get a low. And uh, again, we have this. So this is kind of uh, discharging the capacitor headed to ground. If I remove it there, you can see 
uh, it finally went up enough and uh, so we always have to take this into account while we are doing this um, but I'm just showing you this as an example so let's uh, go down and um, so I'm not going to demonstrate it to you now you can see it's taken a whole lot longer to charge than uh, discharge so what uh, we can do my my main thing is I want to be able to uh, take this voltage and send it uh, somewhere else as a signal and uh, so other stuff will respond to that voltage so what we could do but I want that voltage range for uh, whatever reason um, I have a use for it but that's another long explanation so to get it to charge faster you can see it's taking uh, longer to charge other than removing the oscilloscope probe um, which will help a little bit we can use a lower value resistor right there so it charges through the resistor and the diode so I can just change this resistor to change how long it takes to a uh, charge and it'll take the same time to a uh, discharge because it discharges through that resistor if I do not change this resistor right there and while it's discharging any current going through that resistor also goes to a uh, ground you know the same path right there so we can uh, still even out the timing by adjusting these uh, but um, you know the the voltage will go up quicker to uh, 5 volts and then uh, drop down same time if I leave the 100,000 ohm resistor there to uh, it looks like almost 3 volts you know maybe it's like two and a half or something um, so yeah it, it can go up quicker and then come down about the same time I'll probably be happy with that um, but yeah for uh, now um, that's really about it I thought I would show you that because uh, you don't often see what the results of adjusting the resistance to uh, pin 5 right there you could also wire this as a voltage divider and um, you know do that as well but the main takeaway is it is changing what that uh, you know two-thirds side is so that's it for this video thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video